Have you ever questioned if the path you're walking on is the one you're truly meant to tread? Picture this, a boy, no more than seven years old, sitting in a small town classroom, enamored by the knowledge his teacher imparts. The chalk dust in the air, the creak of the wooden floor beneath his feet, the echo of his teacher's voice. They all stir in him a sense of wonder and admiration. Fast forward a few years and this boy, now a teenager, is still entranced by the world of academia. The allure of knowledge, the thrill of learning new things, the satisfaction of solving complex problems, they all pull him in. The boy, now a young man, decides to dedicate his life to education. He envisions himself in front of a classroom just like his childhood teachers, inspiring young minds and cultivating their thirst for knowledge. The years roll by and the young man, now fully grown, finds himself in a university lecture hall, his nose buried in books, his mind consumed by theories and ideas. He pushes through sleepless nights and grueling exams, his dream of becoming a teacher propelling him forward. He finally achieves his dream. He steps into his own classroom, chalk in hand, eager to mold young minds. But something isn't quite right. The job he once dreamed of, the job he worked so hard for, doesn't bring him the joy and fulfillment he thought it would. He struggles to connect with his students, the administrative work overwhelms him, the long hours leave him exhausted, the pressure to perform, to live up to his own expectations, weighs heavily on him. The dream job he imagined isn't quite the reality he experiences. Yet, he perseveres. He continues to teach, to impart knowledge, to inspire curiosity. But the spark that once ignited his passion for teaching is slowly dimming. He begins to question if this is truly the path for him. This man's journey from his early fascination with learning to his current disillusionment with teaching, is a stark reminder that our dreams and realities may not always align. It's a testament to how our perceptions can change over time, how the things we once loved can lose their luster. He now stands at a crossroads, grappling with his life choices, wrestling with his job satisfaction, or lack thereof. He's come to realize that sometimes the dreams we chase might not lead to the happiness we seek. Is he content with his job? The answer isn't clear but one thing is certain. He's learned a valuable lesson, that it's okay to question, to rethink, to change paths. Because at the end of the day, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. And his journey is far from over.